you, you know, what you think about yourself, it says a lot of like how you see life and, and, and how you see humanity. And, um, I just really been learning how it's not okay to think that you're, um, either better or worse than somebody else because we're all human beings made in the image of God and you're perfect just the way you are as queer people we've we've been really hurt by religion telling us that we were we were unworthy that, that we cannot come to God as ourselves. That we have to change ourselves and then God will accept us. Then that ends up perverting our relationships with other people because we feel like we have to hide in relationship. And that affects everything in your life. It makes, it makes relationships not healthy. And I, I've seen a lot of unhealthy queer relationships. And the unhealthiness is not because of being queer, it's because of um, all all the self hatred and the shame of not fitting into society's expectations or their friends' expectations or their their family or their parents or their church. And that's a lot for a queer person to deal with. The baggage of um, feeling like they disappointed God and, and their family and society. And um, they bring that into a relationship, and it, it opens you up to not being treated right. I just, I want, I want people to know that, um, that they're royalty. You're royalty. You don't have to earn it. You're just royalty right now as, as who you are. And you, don't, you don't have to do anything to be that. It doesn't matter if your if your parents left you, or if you're if you're alone, because I know what that's like. If you keep trying to be, be amazing, and you're never going to be. You're amazing. Without trying, does that make any sense? It's like. When you're trying to prove that you're something, you just you just end up looking stupid <laughs> because you already are something. And when you just you just step into that, just knowing that you already are something and that you're worthy and that you're beautiful, um, that's when you shine the most. Um, let's see. So yeah, people are not better than you, and people are not worse than you. So I've been focusing on, when I'm in meditation, I focus on visualizing people and visualizing them as equals. Like, visualizing those that I, I see as, like, um, so much superior than me, I picture them on the same playing field as me. And those that I, I would picture as, yeah, because I'm human, that I would typically picture as... Um, lesser than, than me that on the same playing field because when we put people as better or worse than us we we lose out on on their their blessing that they have to give us people and humanity and the universe we're all a part of each other and when we're putting each other down or exalting each other in a place that we shouldn't we lose out on relationship with the, with each other um, you may think that what you want in the world is power and to be esteemed before other people, but in, in the end, that's going to be empty. Um, it's, it's about connecting with yourself um, and being able to connect with others, too. about making sense. Also on, on the issue of, of Christianity and queer people. I just came back from the Gay Christian um, Network Conference 
and um, this is my second time going, and it was just just amazing. There was a little over 1,400 um, people there, mostly um, gay Christians, and you know some people that um, that identify as queer but not not gay. You know, um, all different types of people, and um, God was there, and. I've been thinking about how much um, queer people of faith have been labeled as not spiritual or as a lesser than spiritual people than the conservative ones. It's just so not true. Um, It's just, it's, it's my prayer that, that we see ourselves as equals, especially in, in the church, that, that us queer people of faith would see ourselves as equals with, um, with other believers. And that's something that, I, that I've been working on, is um, seeing myself as, as an equal believer with other uh, cisgender straight believers and I've had some come and put their arms around me and call me equal and that's nice and they can say that till like the cows come home but if I don't see myself as equal then I won't bring myself to relationship so it's uh, a lot of a lot of work to be done uh, that inner work is transitions not just Oh, I'm gonna go take testosterone and, and and have chest surgery, and then I'm just like my transition's perfect. No, you gotta you gotta do a lot of inner work to to bring yourself to the table, to bring yourself to relationship, to uh, make yourself present in the world. You gotta work through all those scars, all those years of being put down and being told that you were not good enough, that you had to come as somebody else. All those years of being told, come as somebody else. Those wounds need to be healed. You're going to have to start learning how to come. Well, she just, you're kind of, you'll be kind of stuck. This transition, like I said, it's more than just hormones. And surgery that's the physical which helps a lot trust me <laughs> but um, hope that hope that helps somebody all right talk to you guys later